Okay, good day everybody. So today we would like to test um, serial communication and and play with uh, SK table. So SK table has been uh, around us, right? For characters, for numbers, and for some uh, special uh, special symbols, right? Well, physically we have this connection. This is the connection that we are going to uh, assembly. Uh, we have uh, ESP32 right? already pre-programmed with the code. Right? I'll show you the code later on, and uh, I'm repeating the the code, right? the coding from a tutorial online. So don't worry about the coding. Uh, it is connected to a USB uh, port of the computer. Right? I'm, I'm programming and monitoring monitoring it uh, from Arduino web editor right on the other side right uh, port 2 right this is the port 2 port 2 of uh, ESP32 is connected to the UART right <coughs> and this is the USB to UART converter I'm connecting to a computer uh, I'm monitoring and and and, and uh, send and receive data right, from serial terminal so today we want to try on sending data sending data from a serial terminal and being received by uh, ESP32 and being monitored right? being monitored by uh, serial monitoring the next thing uh, I want to show you will be uh, the ASCII table right? this is the typical uh, ASCII table you can find it uh, everywhere online so we are interested. Right? We are interested at the hex hexadecimal number, right? So uh, the two things that we are going to check today, which is the line fit A, right? O A, right? A lot of time we are we are saying hex number A and D, right? A is line fit, right? Line fit. D is carriage return. Carriage return. The rest of the number will be uh, going to uh, going to this. Uh, uh, Right, numerical numbers 0 to 10 uh, 0 to 9 and then alpha uh, numerical numbers right all these numbers so today we like to check on these two things right live feed and carriage carriage returns so uh, it in programming is very uh, common right we, we type ox right, as a prefix to represent hexadecimal number <coughs> So uh, the port is connected right to a microcontroller, right? And the serial terminal has been connected to uh, COM five. <coughs> so uh, I want I want your attention to this code, right? I'm reading and send uh, reading from port two, right? Serial two, and send to serial monitoring, right? Using this print, my right? print, right? So the command for print. It, it is not going to go to next line right there's another command another command called plain line but right? p r i n t l n plain line right such as this right so the the code that we already uh, sent to the computer is plain right so plain means they will just a uh, microcontroller will just uh, print any number and next to it right Uh, let's say we have we have right we have a uh, uh, number right we had alphabet let's say we have alphabet right I'm sending alphabet a b c d let's say a b c d right so I'm on the other end of a uh, microcontroller ESP32 right you will receive from the serial monitoring eh? a b c d right a b c d but from the hex display right uh, because of this uh, Serial terminal at the back end, right? At the back end of this uh, serial monitoring software, right? OD and OA, right? OD remember is carriage return, OA is uh, line feed, right? 
so a is 61 in hex right 62 63 and 64 in alphabet right escape table a b c d o d and o a will be uh, carriage return and this is live feed right so the apps right would add in into the whole combination for for alphabet right automatically right but let's say right so when when you have this a b c d we send what uh, serial monitoring right serial monitoring from serial monitor it will automatically go to next line go to next line see next line next line what if right let's say what if what we are sending hex number we are sending hex number so I'm sending hex number a b c d instead of typing a b c d but i send s key number a b c d right? 61 62 63 and 64 i'm sending hex right and with uh with uh, uh carriage return and live feed right on the other end of serial monitoring i've received the same characters right a b c d a b c d okay so what if i remove carries return and live feed see so i'm sending s key number 61 62 63 and 64 right observe the serial monitoring i have a b c d i have another a b c d e right go to uh, uh connecting to the next of the a b c d right it doesn't go to the next line and it doesn't go to the next line right so let's say i i add in carries return right what happened it go to the next line right it return right right but if i do on the new line it go to the next line so uh uh, <coughs> when we are programming right the uh, the, the message behind this uh, ASCII table is that uh, when we are doing programming uh, we are sending data serial from a microcontroller to a computer or another microcontroller let's say right so we can we can customize our data format right so OD and OA eh, right uh, is not uh, automatic characters uh, that is going to be add in for you every time that you send a data right so uh, we need to pay attention to this uh, carriage return and a new line when we are sending data so in a number of devices we are sending data right and being received by another set right we send sk numbers okay so thank you uh, this is the sharing thanks for watching